how often do you audition for the lead role or the romantic interest? Never, never. I've never, I've, I've submitted for a few. Um, and usually they're in projects that are all African American, you know, like, like a web series or that kind of thing. But I've not been considered like the love interest like ever. <laughs> and that's one thing, it's funny because I did a web series in New York and the director, I mean, it was a great script, it, but the woman that I was portraying was like single and like never able to find a date and that kind of thing. And I, and I kind of mentioned, well, hey, why do we perpetuate this kind of idea that African-American women are not marriageable or not able to find love? It just kind of bugs me. So I think it's kind of like a, a double-edged sword, like you, you know that in, our, in the community, the African-American community that creates films, it's like that cookie cutter. But then if you want to go outside of that, it's, it's, it's not possible because they don't see us as the love interest, so to speak. Um, I think like actresses like Mi uh, Mindy Akali, like she's been doing great on her own doing that, which is I think what I would have to do in order to break through that. All the time. Like I said, once again, if, 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 I, if I can make that opportunity happen, I make it happen. Um, a lot of times I'm told like, well, we're looking for another type of, you know, character and I'll still audition for it anyway, once again, because it's like I enjoy the passion of just actually getting the opportunity to, to act, you know. But yeah, lead role, principal, the superhero, I go for those auditions all the time because I am that person, you know. <laughs> I'm Trey Carswell, I am a leader, you know, I, I, I innovate, you know, I, I, I learn, I teach, you know, so I, I go for anything that's going to build me as a person. I've auditioned for the lead once so far in my acting career in Los Angeles, and it was for a Disney Channel show, and I was playing the older sister, so that was fun. It's an excellent question, you should ask, you should ask Kelsey Grammer that. See, he's in Expendables 3, and they're touting him as an action hero. Now, I haven't seen Expendables 3. That's an excellent question. I've, all, I've considered myself a, a character actor. I would like to say I'd be addition for the hero, <laughs> hero parts. I've, I've, on stage, I've been angry a lot. A lot of the roles I've been, I play anger very well. A lot of the roles have been angry roles, and so on and so on. Uh, as a hero, that's a good question. I was my largest stage role, line-wise and, and, and lead was uh, I drove uh, Di Drive Miss Daisy. I played that at Santa Monica College uh, in 1994. I had the lead role Hulk Colbert, the role that Morgan Freeman originated on Broadway and the role that he did in the film. Uh, that's the longest lead role. You could say he's a hero of sorts. Uh, he, he, he was very humble, but he was also, he stood, stood his ground, again, for the, uh, the, the character that uh, Jessica Tandy played in the film. I would like to audition for more hero roles. No, I, you know, I don't, ask, I don't get auditions for the hero roles very, very much. And like a lot of the breakdowns that I'll see, you know, the hero role is the guy's Caucasian. And you know, the, the villain or like the third or fourth guy in charge is like the African-American dude but he gets killed off <laughs> pretty early. You know, he gets killed like third scene, eaten by the monster or stabbed by whatever or blown up or whatever. And so, you know, I've never had the opportunity to audition for the role where like my character perseveres through the whole film and at the end of the thing, the credits roll and yeah. I'm, it was one film I did a year and a half ago where I played a cop and, and actually he was actually the good guy and he didn't, he didn't actually get killed, but that's like so few and far between. It's not even really worth mentioning. I go for principal roles first. Always do. Okay. Always have. Um, yeah, I, I want to get in the action. I want to be in there. But it does depend on the type of principal role. If, there, if I had a choice between a principal role and a character, a supporting character role that's really juicy, I'm going to go for the character now. When I started, I would have, would not have, but the other one is a little more challenging, a little more depth, you know, finding that humanity and some of those crazy people that you play. That's really fun. That's really the fun part of, of this whole aspect, this whole acting business, I think, is, is really doing the, the backstory and the, and the analysis and all of that. So that is what I would go for now. Um, but I get cast a lot in leads. I do. 
I, I even when I'm going out for supporting, they've changed me to the lead a few times. I do, you know, I, you know, I submit to the hero roles and, you know, the the principal roles. Uh, I don't, I don't discriminate, uh, even though I, I embrace these 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 other roles that we talked about. I uh, I'm an actor, and you know, I embrace all roles. So yes, mm -hmm. I do. So even if you know, hey, look, they want me to be somebody that I'm really not, I'm the total opposite, but if they need me to go there, it's still acting, it's still a job. Right, well, there's, there's been occasions where, you know, I, I go in as, as the bad guy, and they see me in a different light as a hero. But yet, because either the hero is not dark enough or the other character is not dark enough, you know, they, they always get me. Uh, but it's just, it's just good to see that that they see me in that light as well.